Hi, I'm Brian Haycook with Platinum Adventure Vacations. On this week's episode, we're going to discuss Alaskan land tours and the suppliers I deal with. So on last week's episode, if you remember, we talked about Alaska in general. We talked about the different seasons, peak season, cruise season, and the shoulder seasons, as well as we spoke about the, each month and what each month had to offer as far as traveling to Alaska and the best times to see certain things in Alaska. And so this week, like I said, we're going to talk about land tours and the suppliers I deal with. And basically, I'm going to discuss only the the main tour land or main suppliers I deal with there's many of them out there however these are going to be the ones I mainly deal with and what they have to offer the first one I'm going to discuss is called Globus family so Globus has been around for a very long time they consist of four different brands they have Globus they have which is their luxury land tours you have Cosmos, which is kind of, of a more affordable land tours. And then you have Monograms, which is a personalized land tour. And really what that means is that you're not part of a group. It's just you. And then you have Avalon, which is their river cruises. And like I said, today we're just going to discuss basically Globus and Cosmos. And mainly because... Monograms is not available in Alaska. Monograms is only available in select cities. So we will not be talking about monograms today. That will be another video at some point. Uh, we'll talk about Globus first. And the particular tour I'm going to talk about is uh, Nature's Best Alaska. This tour costs between 2,900 hours to 3,600 hours per person. Uh, those numbers do not include airfare airfare is extra you can book the airfare through cosmos or through globus but it's not included in the basic price the advantage however of booking the tour the airfare through Co through globus is that that also includes your air your your transfer from the airport to your hotel so that's just something to keep in mind you can do your 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 airline airfares separately but it's better to do it through them the prices you're not really going to save anything by going separate they're going to have better deals just because of the buying power they have so it, it it's worth your while to definitely book your airfares through them this particular tour is seven days long and it's available from early May until the beginning of September. So it's the, the peak time of the year. And and really, I guess the shoulder, if you want to talk about it, it's, it's the shoulder uh, season as well, because it does include those two months. An Alaskan cruise can be added to most of the Globus land tours. It is an option, but you also can add your own um, cruise to that if if you would like so you could go on a different cruise line other than what Globus offers I do not have the cruise lines I deal with written down but like I said it is an option with a with this particular Globus tour it includes 10 meals so you get six breakfasts breakfasts I guess that's right two lunches and two dinners are included in that so it's not going to be meals for every single day but most of your breakfast is included and then a few lunches and dinners. And the main reason is because they do offer free time for you to go out in the evenings and you would do dinner on your own. And there's also some free time during the lunch period time where you would go on your own and kind of explore and then get lunch on your own. This tour includes five different destinations. So day one, you would, you would, well, so you'd fly into Fairbanks. That would be your, your, where you would fly in. And your first day would, full day would be Fairbanks. And then you would travel to Denali National Park and Preserve on day two. Day three and four, you spend your, 
your time in Denali National Park and Preserve. And then day five, you go to Takitna. And then the next day is Anchorage. And then the seventh day, you're heading back home. All accommodations for Globus or for yeah, for Globus in general are going to generally be first class for this tour. They are first class, but for any Globus tour, you're going to find that those accommodations are generally first class. It's very rare that you'll have something less than first class. However, if it is, they note it in there that for that particular part of the tour that you, you know, you'll have a hotel that's not at what they consider first class. Um, the tour includes the following activities. So a Fairbanks Scenic uh, Stern Weller. Well, I'm sorry, let me back that up. Fairbanks Scenic Stern Wheeler Cruise on China, China River. A scenic drive to Denali National Park. Private presentation by a local naturalist and dinner at Murray Science and Learning Center. Denali National Park Tundra Wilderness Tour in the park. Denali National Park visit. Well, well, while you're in the Denali National Park, you visit the home of a Iditarod musher and basically learn about uh, what they do. You get to see the dogs and whatnot. Alaskan Railroad scenic train ride to Takitna. A scenic drive along the Kenai, Kenai Peninsula route to Seaward. And then Seaward is a scenic cruise through Kenai, Kenai Fords National Park. And there's also several options for activity, optional activities that are available during your scheduled free time. So basically what that means is during the free time, they offer other activities that are not included in the price. And some of those activities, let me see, I have it here. He's got to find it. Um, some of those activities include things like helicopter rides, uh, things like that. I was trying to see if I had it in here, but I do not have it on here. But I thought I did. But I, that's all right. But at any rate, they'll have other types of of available activities at additional cost. And there's things like kayaking. There's things like the helicopter rides and whatnot that are generally available in, in those type of tours. Uh, like I said, I do not see them on the paper there. The next tour or supplier, which is part of the Globus family, is going to be Cosmos. And like I said before, Cosmo is, is a more affordable land tour. Uh, the price is, this particular tour is Grand Alaskan Adventure, and it runs between $1,950 to $2,100 per person. So you can see it's, it's quite a bit cheaper. And the, and the prices on both these, the ranges depends on what, what time of year you go. That's why there's a difference in price. And again, it does not include airfare. If you want airfare, you can get airfare through Cosmos just like you can with Globus. This tour, again, is seven days as well. And it's also available, well, it's okay. So it's available through May and until late August. So this one doesn't go into September, but it's until late August. And again, an Alaskan cruise can be added to this, either it be through Cosmos or on your own if the dates line up. This particular this particular tour does not include any meals. So as you can see, again, this is I, I think I said this before. You kind of there's a price savings there because you're you're not paying for your meals up front. So obviously, it's going to be a little bit cheaper. Uh, the tour includes four different destinations, so it's one destination shorter than than the other one. And so you'll start this one. You'll start in Anchorage and you end in Anchorage. So the first day you're in Anchorage, and then the second day you're going to travel to Takitna and then Denali National Park Reserve. So kind of combine. Takitna is is close to Denali National Forest and Preserve, or National Park and Preserve, so that's kind of wise together. And then the third day you'll spend in national in the National Park and Preserve, and then the fourth day you'll travel to Thompson Pass and Valdez, 
And then the fifth day, you'll travel to Anchorage, and then you'll spend day six in Anchorage, and then you'll fly home or head home on your seventh day. On this one, the accommodations are all generally tourist or economy class. So they're going to be obviously not going to be the luxury, the, the, the first class hotels. They're going to be a little bit uh, more inexpensive hotels. Still good quality. You know, the, the Cosmo is not going to put you in a crappy hotel, so to speak. It, for lack of better words, but they're going to put you in decent hotels. It's just not going to be the first class rated hotels that you would, or accommodations you would expect. I say hotels. It could be hotels or it could be a resort or whatever. So the tour includes the world famous Alaskan Railroad scenic train ride to, to, to Kikna, a scenic drive across Denali Highway, a boat tour of Prince William Sound, a city sightseeing tour of Anchorage, and then a visit to the Anchorage Museum. And again, just like Globus, there are several optional tours available during scheduled free time. So as you can see, both tours do make a point to having free time available to you to, to do some exploring on your own. And again, it could be hiking, it can be kayaking, it can be helicopter tours and things like that. There's, there's a number of activities that they make available uh, to people who are on that particular tour. Um, I was just looking to see if there was anything in here that I could add. Yeah. So, and then the next one is, it's definitely one of my favorite, uh, and you'll know why here in a minute. Um, but the next one's going to be Adventures by Disney. So everybody obviously knows Disney does cruises and the theme parks and all that good stuff. But I don't know how many people out there knew that Disney has what's called Adventures by Disney. And so these are land tours, and I, and I believe they also have river cruises and, and other type of things out there as well as part of Adventure by Disney. But they're, they're tours that are available from Disney. And like everything Disney, they put their heart into it. They are very big on hospitality. Uh, Disney is, you know, I don't know if, you, if you've never been to a Disney theme park or on a Disney cruise. It's, it's quite the experience when you stay on Disney, um, if you stay on Disney property. And I'll give you an example. A couple of years ago, I think it's been now, our family went to Disney and we stayed on Disney property. And we had gotten there and got checked in. And went to go to our room. And, and at that time, they gave you the um, bands, mag magic bands. I think now you have to buy them or something like that. But they would give them to you. And so we went up to our room, and our magic bands didn't work on our door. And to me, you know, it wasn't a big deal. It was, you know, I called them up. I said, hey, it's, you know, we're, we're trying to get out of our room. The magic bands aren't working, you know, and da da da. And they were like, yeah, no problem. We're going to send somebody up there and see if we can figure out what's going on. So they did. They sent a, a lady up there. And it, and it took, I don't know maybe five to ten minutes it took this lady to get up there and she got up there and unfortunately she wasn't able to get it open so they apologize and you know and whatnot about it and and the next thing you know i get a call from a representative from disney and 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 it was very like hey we understand you guys are having an issue with your room and because of the inconvenience we're going to give you a 50 dollar credit and and want to make sure you guys are happy and and that's it and like i said it you know 15 minutes whatever it was no big deal and so it it changed my well i shouldn't say it changed my point of view of disney i always knew disney was a very good place it just made me think wow the disney really truly wants you to have a good time and they want you to be happy so at any rate so that's my story disney story and we'll get back to what we we're really talking about and that's the Adventure by Disney. So Adventure by Disney only has one Alaskan tour. And that's something I didn't mention. Globus and Cosmo both have several tours that are available through them for Alaska. That was just one of one tour from each brand. Disney only has one tour available for Alaska. So they don't have multiple 
pores, obviously. Now, this is where things you're going to see a difference. The tour price for Adventures by Disney, their Alaskan tour, is priced between $5,950 to $6,250 per person. So, as you can see, it's very expensive compared to Globus, but you, what you get what you pay for as far as the Disney thing. You, you, you are going to get probably the best tour you could possibly have, hands down. So, at any rate, so that price, again, does not include airfare. You can do airfares with them, but the price is not included in that or the price does not include airfares. This particular tour is eight days long, and it's available from May, late May until mid-August. And you can add a Disney Alaskan cruise to that tour. This tour includes 16 meals. So you get seven breakfasts, four lunches, and five dinners. So you get quite a bit more meals with this. This one includes 14 sites. So you go to 14 different places. So... Uh, the or sites. Let me back that up. It includes fourteen visits to fourteen sites, but it, it's four different destinations. So let me back that up. I, I need to make sure I corrected that. The tour includes separate activities for adults and kids, and there are adult-only tours available as well for this particular tour. So if you're looking to go and you don't want your, you know, see your just a, a couple of don't, you know, you don't want to go and have to deal with kids or whatever. They do have adult only, but the ones that do include kids have activities separate from the adults as well available for kids. So if you do are a family that are going on a tour, there are activities for your kids to do um, on their own. The first day of this tour, you fly into Anchorage. The second day you're in Anchorage and then you travel to, to, to Kikna, and then from Day three, you're in Tekikna and Denali National Park. And then day four, you spend at National, the Denali National Park. Day five, you travel to Girdwood. Day six, you're in Girdwood. Day seven, you're in Girdwood. And then day eight, you return home. And as expected with Disney, all accommodations are first class. They're, that's the only option. So it's all first class accommodations with Disney. Activity wise, I'm going to go down the list. There's a there's a bunch, but um, I'm going to go down the list and, and read them off. But the, uh, the the activities include a welcome reception. So when you get there, you're going to uh, have a welcome reception that includes dinner. Um, just a second, let me find my sheet here so I can give you more information. So, but it, basically, the welcome dinner is to celebrate your first night. In Alaska and to you know dinner and whatnot and they'll, they'll go over different things of the tour at that point you have Alaska Native Heritage Center you visit that there's separate village tours for adults and kids so adults will do a, a tour and the kids will do a tour and they have tour guides that are you know that deal with kids and you know of course tour guides that deal with adults but you do two separate tours there's a bike riding and kayak at Utna Lake. Hopefully, I'm saying that the way right. And then there's a coach ride to 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 Kikna. and then you have an Alaskan Railroad Dome ride to Denali National Park and Preserve. And that means you're riding in a, in a train cart that has a dome roof. Uh, let's see here where we at. And then Denali National Park Visitor Center. A scenic wilderness rafting or guided hike. So it's one or the other. So you can either go on the rafting or you can choose to go on a hike. It's, it, you have a choice there. There's a motor coaster girdwood. A visit to a championship kennel. Gold panning at Crow Creek. Spencer Glacier Glacier float trip. Alaskan Wildlife Conservation Center visit. And then a private reindeer wildlife presentation. And then, and like the other tours, there are several optional tours available during scheduled free time. And like I said, Disney is definitely like one of my favorites just because they have so much to offer. The immersion is just amazing and whatnot. So since this video is, is obviously going to be a longer video than I expected, 
I'm going to take a break here and end this video just so that way you're not having to watch a 40 minute video. And plus, I don't know that anybody would sit there for 40 minutes and watch one video. So I'm going to break this up into two videos and that way you can stop here. And then if you wish to watch the next video with more information, that would be great. So thank you for watching this. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the second half. Thanks.